men's health issues with Elizabeth Chelly. G'day, Elizabeth. Hey, Adam. How are you today? I'm all right. Thank you very Good. much. I'm doing all right. Way to go. Now, we hear a lot about the benefits of regular exercise. Yes. But you can take it too far, can't you? Uh, yes, you can. Tell us a bit about that. Yeah, in my former life as a personal trainer, I would often see men in the gym uh, overtraining to the point that they would bring an injury on with their joints or their muscles. And I thought, what's going on there? And we often hear about body image issues for women of wanting to get thinner, looking thin and trim and all sexy. And yet we don't really talk about the fact that men have those same kind of anxieties with their body image. And underlying some of that is an anxiety about how they look, meeting society's images about what it should look like as a cool dude or looking like the man's man, um, cut and buff and trim and attractive and sexy to women. And so that anxiety can sometimes take men's exercise too far that they're excessively training um, and causing injury to their joints and muscles, which then affects their ability to keep on training yeah. and feeds back into the anxiety. So it's a bit of a lose-lose overall. How do you recognise that you've got a problem in that situation? Like, what is too much? Too much would be, say, you're going to the gym every day. Or for some, they'll be going two times a day or three times a day. Wow. Or if someone says to you, don't go to the gym today, just give it two days recovery and anxiety creeps up and he can't stay away, whether it be the gym or other exercise, you've got a bit of a signal there that there's some underlying anxiety to the exercise and you're not keeping a good balance. So there's some practical signals that you might be overtraining. Other practical signals will be your joints and your muscles are going to let you know or there's a fatigue that you won't be able to get past until you give yourself good recovery. Because when you think about it, you're working the weights quite a bit. Typically, um, you might work your muscles out of balance, so there'll be a lot of pecs and biceps to get the good front look and a lot of thighs and, and squats um, at the neglect of the back and, and other muscles that the muscles are out of balance. So it creates some joint imbalances, back issues, um, and other physical ailments that you kind of go, oh, what's the story here? So there's some signals that you might be overtraining and you need to look at underlying anxiety that is pushing you too much. We need to make sure that we incorporate recovery days within your training regime. That helps your muscles tone up whilst it's recovering. And that way you can keep training for longer periods of time. What about the use of steroids? Because we hear quite a bit about that. Yeah. Obviously taking things too far again. That's right, we get a lot of mixed messages, well men get a lot of mixed messages with regard to society's expectations of what it means to be a man, to be attractive to women, to be the man's man and to look good. And so those pressures sometimes really drive a man's anxiety quite high that he wants to look good and he wants to look good fast. And obviously steroids become a quick way to be able to address the problem, perceived problem, quickly. But then brings its own issues of chemistry imbalance, anger issues, not to mention medical problems with overuse. So approach your exercise with a sense of perspective. Yeah. Is that the best way forward? Absolutely. Consider your exercise is a lifestyle habit, which means a lifetime habit. So if you don't train for a week, what's the big deal in the context of a 10 year period of time that you can actually enjoy your training and get the results on an ongoing basis? So consider training three to four times a week with a one day or two day recovery in between because it's during that recovery your muscles are toning up and then when you get back into the gym or into your exercise, you've got more power in your muscle to take it the next level. So doing that weekly and considering about a week off or a few days off every five to six weeks, then you've got a training regime that's gonna last you longer and keep you looking buff for longer. Fantastic, well, I'm just gonna uh, hit the gym right now. Yeah, is go it? for it. I will. Just, uh, yeah, don't overtrain the muscle. I won't. And All I right. look forward to speaking to you <laughs> again next week. Thanks, Adam. <laughs>